Today, we're running for our lives because on this server, the Pokemon are fighting back. Welcome to the world of Dynasty MC, a server where the evil rift has fractured reality, mutated Pokemon, and disrupted the world as we know it. Quinton and I will explore the realms, fight the corrupted, battle some bosses, and get some pretty cool gear in the process, all while training to become the ultimate Pokemon champions. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna make dumplings or something like that. This is 100 days against mutated Pokemon. Day one. Choosing a starter is like naming your firstborn. Once you make a choice, there is no going back. Okay, we got uh, Bulbasaur, the, the turtle, and the little fire dragon. All right, I know what I'm doing. I choose you. You're mine. You wanna battle and see what our starters are? Sure, yeah, let's do this. Well, what starter do you think I picked? I think you picked Litten. Boom! You're weird. You don't even know that Pokemon. <laughs> he was my starter when I played that game. And thus began the first of many battles. True history in the making. It would be a fierce battle. It would be a legendary battle. It would be a short battle. No! Oh my gosh. Okay, All right. To, okay, wow. We're off to a good start, finally. There's a healing machine okay. right here. It was a really great start to a great journey, but not as great as this limited edition Double Sal plushie. All you gotta do is join, check your mailbox, and claim it. They're also gonna be celebrating their upcoming anniversary event where Mega Stones will be gifted to each player. It's fun, it's free, and did I mention it's free? Dynasty MC, IP in the description below. To begin our journey, we had to choose one of four realities, with the most peaceful being Prime Valley. If you're just getting started, then this is the perfect spot for you. For the first couple of days, Quinton and I were looking to build our team and gather some resources. And of course, we did have to keep an eye out for the corrupted Pokemon. Thankfully, we were provided some guides in our mailbox, and thank God for these guides because they explain all of the basics for this world. From the Rift mechanics to harvesting the Rift Shards and the mutated Pokemon, whatever you wanted to know, these guides had the knowledge. They even explained the weapons and the boss battles. So yes, be sure to read your guidebook. This reality doesn't seem that broken. You know, there's Pokemon and there's animals alike. A corrupted Zigzagoon. Corrupted. Oh, what, what's the- Yo, don't beat Pokemon! He gave me a shard of fractured reality. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to kill them. Oh, what happens when you get shards? Well, we can trade them in for weapons. Actually. They're corrupted. They're beyond- They're like, beyond saving. There's always a cure. No, that one is not corrupted. They have to have the little sparkles over them. You were just- did you no, see, this one's just ugly. No, you this, just- it's, you, This one's just ugly. You just murdered a bug. Let's start getting some resources because it's day one. He was absolutely right. Time was passing me by and I had yet to catch my second Pokemon. Thankfully, there was a Pokedex that told me what Pokemon there were and where they spawned. Although I didn't recognize some of them. What is wrong with this slow bro? Why does he look like this? Thankfully, I was able to come across this more familiar friend, an Abra. This little guy was gonna make a fine addition to my team. I simply had to catch him. Every time I catch a Pokemon, even if it's a low level, I always have a feeling that the Pokemon is gonna escape his Pokeball. Thankfully, that wasn't the case. <gasps> I got a new Not Pokemon, let's go. We decided to leave the safety of Prime Valley to venture out into more uncharted territory, like New Horizons. It was in this reality where we decided to make our new base. We also killed some corrupted Pokemon along the way. I think oh my big. gosh, look how big this sparrow is. What level is it? 26? You wanna... You should get the shader when... The, in Cobblemon, the Pokemon are textured so that, like, the parts out of them that are supposed to glow, they actually glow. How do you have a pickaxe ready? I made one. All right, it's a wooden pickaxe. What do you mean already? It's the first thing you make. Where's your Pokemon? My Pokemon's out here with us. Uh, he's in his ball, safe and sound. Oh, you, you don't care about your Populo? In a world where you can kill Pokemon, I think he's better off in his ball, where nothing can hurt him. I wonder if these drop pork chops. We just so happen to be playing during a server event where every time you defeat a Pokemon, it spawns a lantern as part of a Chinese New Year event. After that, we decided to start building our house. No, let me rephrase that. I decided to start building our house. Quinton was having fun catching Pokemon. Imagine we're making the videos and our days don't correspond. <laughs> we're gonna have to talk about that. Okay, I'm gonna level up Litten a bit while you keep building that. Well, what is this advantage that you have? No, you gotta help. You won the last battle. Fine, I'm gonna go grab us some resources. You think you got resources? No. Quinton didn't bring back anything. My team's already looking good. 
This is the strategy, huh? Leave leave double salt to build the All house right. while you level up. No, I, I'm not even leveling up. Wait, how do you rate my team so far, though? Uh, the little blue guy and Litten. So far, so good. More, one more than I have. Who's your second? My second is a secret. Unfortunately, my Abra didn't stay a secret for long. I have this Abra. She's level 25. Do I risk throwing a Pokeball or do I fight and hope he fails again? Don't catch Abra. Why? Because that's what I have. So you can catch it? I already have it. No, not you. You made me reveal my hand. I already have it. <laughs> Don't catch Abra. Claimed. Okay. All bickering aside, the house was finally complete. That thing is massive. What is this bird? I need. We need to craft a, a Pokemon healing center because when our Pokemon get low on health, like what are we going to do? All my Pokemon are dead. We, we need to heal them. What we're going to need to make a healer is a diamond, a max revive, and a gas tier. And then everything else is just iron and copper. The diamond we can find. The gas tier we got to buy. The max revive? We need a bunch of stuff. We need three revives Bro, and, the, and a I, vivid choke. My game is glitched. So we can remember the generosity of today's sponsor. Come here. This video, sponsored by Dynasty MC. There he oh, is, one of, the, yeah. one, of the, one of the one of the key players of this video. <laughs> you log in for the first 30 days that the video's up, you get a free double sal plushie. So began the quest to make a healer. But to do that, like I said before, we were gonna need a lot of stuff. And first, we were gonna start with these medicinal leeks that were growing right in front of our house. Now these were gonna be used for potions, and we also needed supplies to make pokeballs, hence the reason I'm harvesting these apricorns. I also managed to catch my third pokemon, a rookity. And thankfully, Rookity was easy to catch. I wanted to keep building my team, and I wanted a high success rate of doing so, so I was going to craft Ultra Balls. And thankfully, there were Black Apricorns, an ingredient you needed, right there in front of me. I decided to start harvesting them while hoping they drop a seed. In the end, I decided to cut the tree down, thinking that the seeds would just spawn naturally like a sapling would from a regular tree, and it turns out that wasn't the case. I just cut down my only source of Black Apricorns, and out went the idea of crafting Ultra Balls. There was a black apricorn tree right next to a yellow apricorn tree, and I cut them down. Could have made ultra balls. How do I get the seeds? I thought it was going to give me a seed. Next, I started to build a mine because I needed metals if I wanted to craft any pokeballs at all. That's when I found these dusk stones, and I had no idea that these evolution stones just spawned naturally, so I was thrilled when I found a second one right next to the first one. Looks like things were finally looking up in my favor. Even Quentin got pretty lucky. Let's go! I was happy for him, but I did wish he helped a little more gathering the materials since we were going to be sharing. I found something. Oh, this is perfect because there are no mobs. I love this. Wait, so what do you want me to be doing right now? Uh, It's just the race for the diamond. Also, we need other ores, uh... so we just have to mine. Yes, as I continued to mine, I came across a large mine shaft. That's cool. Okay, you know what? This is this is exactly what I wanted from Pixelmon. Cobblemon is amazing. You go into caves, what? a bunch of rock type Pokemon. I just ran into an Onyx. Like they actually know, they I... actually spawn with relation to the like the area you're in. And there's Zubats down you're... here. While exploring, I ended up finding one of the essential items we needed to make a Pokemon healer. Vivid choke seeds. <gasps> Jeez, dusk stones are Wow. I don't need a dusk stone for people on my team. <laughs> I kind of want this Pokemon, but I don't know if I have the strength to catch it. If I can catch this, it's kind of a big deal. What? It's kind of predictable and basic, though, catching this Pokemon. Or I know it has to be Gen 1. Did I find sand? No. After failing to capture the Ghastly, I ended up discovering this underground house, and inside of it, lots of chests with lots of loot. Even the diamond we needed to make the healer. You got diamonds? Diamond. One. Oh my god, an Ursaluna. Ursaluna's in this game? Oh, I want an Ursaluna. Oh, this, was a, this is a fruitful expedition. Perfect. I don't even need the helmet. Um, I found a ravine. Oh, I'm taking this. I'm taking... I, I Thank you thank you so much for the ash hat, but, like, I, I need to put something else on. Silk touch pickaxe. Don't mind if I do. Oh my... This, this building was such a big score. Let's just regroup at home and build a healer. As I was making my way out, I found some lapis, and I was wondering, what is it used for? And it's used for XP shares, so yeah, I was definitely taking that. Yeah, this is gonna be my secret weapon. Alright, I'm home. I'm on a genocide run right now. Wait, were you wasted diamonds on a helmet? I found the diamonds. Uh, the diamond helmet in a chest. I didn't build this. Okay, so to make a healer, we're gonna need... Oh wait, no, we can't make it. We have to farm the... 
the vivid choke. I started a small farm while Quinton began building a PC. And now we wait. You could have gone to spawn. There's PCs there. No, but this is our survival experience. We can't rely on this, the, what the government gives us for free. <laughs> okay. The PC is built. Oh, my Pikachu. I gotta free my Pikachu from his shackles. Look at this prize possession. Look at this. You're... I see. The shiny. He looks a little burnt. Don't make fun of my son like that. <laughs> like he's in the oven too long. All right, well, I'm going to go RTP Eating and uh, do, do some work. Quentin, we have two options. Okay. Option number one. We stick to the plan and we build the healer. Option two. Right. I can make a diamond pickaxe. We can build another portal right now. I need to heal my Pokemon. <laughs> go to spawn. I've already set so much up. Well, we're not going to have a healer for a while, but we can have a portal right now. While Quinton was deciding between a portal or a healer, I was off collecting more shards for the super weapons. I kept exploring and I ended up coming across this massive ice spire. So, naturally, I wanted to explore and see what was at the top. And boy, was it worth scaling this thing, because at the very top was a very valuable treasure. You see, once I made it to the top, I found an armor stand. And in the armor stand, a netherite helmet. Now, this was a pretty good find for something I just randomly encountered. So, I decided to keep digging around, hoping to find even more treasure in the area, and I did! Two enchanted books, TNT, and a diamond sword. Not bad for a day's work. Although I was falling behind on building my Pokemon team, and Quinton began to take notice. How, how good's your team? It's just two. Still? Yeah, you don't... Like, you're not playing this game. I was doing all the work. You can take care of the, the max revive stuff then. You know what, you, you do the rest, I'll, I'll just play Pokemon. Me and Linden are training right now. <laughs> yeah, then we're not getting a healer. Oh my goodness, you will be what? mine. Oh, you found something you like? I did. Come on, first try, first try, first try, first try, first try, first try, first try. Come on, 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 come on. I don't want to kill it. Stop, please. Oh, you are a stubborn one. Don't make me. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah! Oh, we got it. We got it. You a strong member? He's more of a collector's item, but he's he's gonna be handsome. Are you collecting shards? Or am I the only one killing Pokemon? I know, I have a lot of shirts. Yeah, yeah, all right, I see the potential here. Why don't I have great balls with me? I was determined to catch this scissor, but it was not agreeing with the Pokeball. So I decided to take a risk. I was gonna have to go back home and get great balls. Go home. Wait, what's the home command? I tried to grab my items as quickly as I could to get back there before. Back, right? And it just spawned. Okay, I should not have done that. Though all hope was not lost, Thankfully, there was redemption nearby, which came in the form of a Nidoran. Finally! Finally, finally, finally. All right, make that number four. <laughs> Meanwhile, Quentin was still at the base waiting for the Vivid Choke to grow, which was the only hope of us getting a healer. Knowing that the healer wasn't going to be built anytime soon, Quentin opted to construct another portal, which meant we needed to find lava. So once again, I descended down into the mines, only this time he was coming to help. A couple of failed Pokemon attempts later, I ended up finding this Geode, and inside, Amethyst Crystals which we needed for the XP share. I then came across Pokemon number 5, this little Noibat, who was gonna join our team in just a few short minutes. Wow, that you did a lot of damage. Okay, I should be able to get you now. Don't make it difficult, don't make it difficult, don't make it difficult! Yeah, we got it! Okay, let's go. Alright, we got what we needed, now uh, we just gotta find the lava, and I think we'll be good to go! I need like a pool though. I need I need a bunch of source blocks. Yo, I found lava. Where? Oh my god. Oh yeah, this is what we needed. This is scary. What is wrong with you? What do you mean? Oh, How do you think we're making so the portal? Smart. Oh. I thought you were gonna get a... Yeah, you're retired. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you're retired. You don't play Minecraft anymore. So what do you think I was thinking? Honestly, I don't know what you were thinking. We're here for the obsidian. How do you think you make obsidian with lava? Here, let's do some Minecraft trivia, okay? You ready? When building a nether portal, what is the minimum number of blocks you need to construct a portal frame that will work? Ten. Okay. Explain the process of making a netherite inga. Huh? You're missing out on a key moment. All right, here we go. 
Simple portal. Two, three, four. And now it's time to ignite it. I think I have Flint here somewhere. All right, check this out. There we go. Hey. <laughs> Let's go, Lidin. What, what happens if I throw Lidin? You want to evolve your Pokemon? How do you evolve your Pokemon? Click M, and there's an evolve button. What? Oh my gosh, Lidin. No way. Evolve the Torque out of the Nether. <laughs> okay, nice. We got a lot of stuff to evolve then. I think it's, I think it's time for a battle. I don't have a full team. I don't have a full team. My poke. Okay, let me tell. Let me put it this way. Some of my Pokemon can't even do attacks. You know, what? I'm I'm dumping I'm dumping all these uh candies. Wait, can we make rare candies? You know, wait, you should buy the EXP share. I'm I'm gonna make them. Uh, Iron helmet. Amic oh well, no, I haven't bought I haven't bought the EXP share. I bought a crystal. Maybe I shouldn't have bought it. Can't get left behind. Of course not. No, I was already planning on making them. All right, I got one already. <laughs> Actually, wait. John. What? Wait, so are you ready for a battle? I'm not. I don't know if I'm ready. I don't know what you have. And I don't, like... Okay, let me heal him and we'll battle. Let's make a deal. Abra and Haunter need to evolve by trading, right? Whoever wins this battle will get their traded Pokemon evolved. Oh, nope. okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, let me just figure out how to give them the XP so share. Like, I crouched and right-clicked from them and then I got, uh... If we were going to battle, then we needed an arena. Thankfully, I had a shovel and lots of time on my hands while Quinton did, well, whatever Quinton does. The arena. Oh my, get these disgusting, ugly Pokemon out the way. <laughs> uh, I didn't get that on camera. What are you doing? They're spectators. They, yeah, they need to leave. They paid. Oh my gosh. It was finally time for the rematch. I had no idea what Quinton had on his team, but it didn't matter. The battle was about to begin. They're like kissing. <laughs> He's a guy. Get, get, get out the way. He's a guy, by the way. The winner gets to evolve their Pokemon. Okay? Okay. Yeah, I, I agree to that. Trying to get full use out of the type advantage, he withdrew Teddy Ursa and sent out his shiny Pikachu. Pikachu, it's your time to show. Oh. Thankfully, Brion packed quite a punch, though it was risky leaving her out there, so I sent Nidorino. You have a Nidorino? For my next move, I decided to use Horn Attack. Pikachu! <laughs> <laughs> with Nidorino victorious, Quint encountered with a Haunter. A very annoying Haunter. Okay. Uh. Give me. I gotta think. <sighs> Nidorino was about to attack, but all of a sudden I realized that Pikachu had left him paralyzed. Oh my god. He's gonna wither away. With Nidorino paralyzed, there was only one thing I could think of. That was to withdraw him so that he could live to fight another day. It was now in the hands of my next Pokemon, Noibat. He could do it. You got a Noibat? Oh, whoa, your Noibat does damage. And he did do a lot of damage, but that Haunter was a menace. My Confuse Ray will come in close. Live! Oh my god. What are you? There's nothing you do against me and my Haunter. There's zero chance you're winning this one. And this Rattata here will be the will watch your demise. That Haunter was mocking us. It had to go. Oh, Brion. I was still alive. What? Come on, just die, 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 die. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm you know hoping what? that the rest of your Pokemon are pushovers, but they weren't. Lit in. Fire Fang. Brion was out, and this was a problem because we were running out of Pokemon. Thank you. It was time for Kadabra to carry the team. Oh. Come on, Kadabra, you can do it. Yes, you can do Whoa. it, Kadabra, you can do it. And then I did this. Whoa. No, I did not mean to do that. No, I lost. Oh my god. Darn it. I'm so mad, man. I misclicked. I clicked teleport by mistake. So stupid. You have a shiny? I do. My team doesn't lose. Oh, it flinched? Shoot, man. My Pokemon are crippled. They flinched. They were poisoned. They were paralyzed. My Pokemon team was absolutely disoriented. I'm using, I'm putting you in these situations. I mean, I'm literally confusing you every turn. My bird was dead, but Nidorino still had some fight in him. He was going to have to take this home. Oh, and here comes the the, the wounded Nidorino that tried to... <laughs> Come on, Toro Cat, let's finish the job. Uh oh, oh. Thank God. Oh, whoa. And just when I thought it was over, Quentin was pulling Pokemon out of nowhere, while Nidorino was still hanging by a thread. Thank God. Yo! Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Please tell me that's all Yo. of them. Oh my god, you're kidding me! You forgot about Teddy Ursa? Liv, come on! I'm gonna just keep crying in your face. I'm just gonna keep using fake tears. Oh. Did I win? Is that all of them? Silly. 
you. You forgot. <sighs> she, ha, you, you had a full team. I've always had six. No, like, I, I've been telling you. That's actually... Oh, my God. Well, no, you... I, I should not have accepted glad. that challenge. What a waste. Oh, utterly destroyed before this... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, yo, come on. Okay, no, whoa. It's time to evolve. It's no, evolve no, the, the, the terms were not yeah, fair. What? I I needed my sixth Pokemon. Wait, 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 I what? was gonna. I should have won that. I needed a sixth Pokemon. No, like I would have. I would have loved to have had a throwaway Pokemon just as a placeholder. Like I won fair and square. You will get an opportunity to evolve your Pokemon. Give me, give me, let me evolve your stupid thing. Because I need two of them. Would you, would, you be, would you be generous enough to let me evolve both of my trainers? No, what the? You're crazy. <laughs> okay, let, 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 let's evolve. Oops. Let's not do any sli <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if I accept this trade, I'm actually releasing him. Switch it to someone else. Put, 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 the, put the slow poke in. Let, let's, uh, let's, let's do you this. Know you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll do this if you evolve my Haunter too. No. You have to evolve my Haunter too. If you're doing this. I'm not evolving Haunter. You had an extra Pokemon. Look at this level. No, you could have went and catch garbage. It doesn't matter. No, okay. Like, like that doesn't matter. You accepted the deal. You knew I had six. I don't have a full team. I don't have a full team. How about this? I put Kadabra in. You put Slowpoke in. We click trade, and then we uh we 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 uh we we have fun. I will do that if then I put in Haunter. And he evolves. And I will gladly evolve Haunter when I get my sixth Pokemon. Without charge? Without charge. I just need a sixth Pokemon. Sore losers. Do you accept? It's okay. I accepted it. That's fair, right? Psychic type for psychic type? Yeah. Perfect. Even though I won the battle? <laughs> nice looking. No, we need to grow this plant. Wait, okay. Let's see. Deposit box. Do you have bones in your deposit box? I do not. After suffering a defeat at the hand of Quinton, it was very clear to me that I had to stop playing Minecraft and start playing Pokemon. I was going to dedicate time to leveling up my team. I didn't have a fire type, and the nether was full of strong Pokemon, so I decided to go out and explore. Yes, it is a bastion. There are still piglins? No way. Oh, this is such a cop out if I catch this. Uh, I'm not going to do that. We then discovered that the fastest way to level up was by using Rift Shards to buy rare candy. So the shards are purple. You have to have them on you. Shard of Fractured Reality? Yeah. 20 gives you 64. 64 what? Rare candies. Are you serious? We found the method. It wasn't good old-fashioned Pokemon battles. No, we were going to fill these Pokemon up with rare candy. And to buy those rare candies, we needed more shards of fractured reality. This meant we had to go hunting for more mutant Pokemon. Back in your balls. My, my gang, is that's the first time I ever saw air. <laughs> How many shards do you need? I oh, know 20, 20 for 64. All right, let's go to Pestilence Plains. Look at that. They got the Easter bunnies here. Wait, is that the super advanced one? Yeah, we can farm there. If no. You shards. Well, that's where you get them. No, I'm I'm not going there until I have... I need four more shards. How long do you think that'll take me to get? To get my shards, I was going to venture through Pestilence Plains, the most hazardous of all the four realms. But with high risk comes high rewards, and it was worth it. How bad could it be? See, this guild guy is oh. telling me to be safe out there. What if you don't make it back alive? I will make it back. You? I don't know. One diamond helmet? These ones fight back. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh. You can't just abuse them anymore. <gasps> oh my gosh! What? I'm being attacked by a whooper! Oh, like they actually are violent. Yes! He's not even corrupted, he's just a regular one! Oh my god. I think I think they recommended having really strong armor if you went to that thing. Oh, I'm gonna die! Oh my god! That's yeah, maybe not you got ahead of yourself. That's not good. I got a, I got to climb a tree. Why can't I climb vines? Oh, there we go. Jeez, they're fast. Quinton, do not come here. <laughs> do not come here. These Pokemon mean business. A few minutes in, and I was already running for my life. He's still Sorry, following are you finding me. Like How a... is the Spearow still following me? I've run so far. Oh, that's a Diglett. Uh oh. That, that, that's like the first episode of the Pokemon anime, if it's Sparrow. This is insane. The Pokemon, I'm being, <laughs> I'm being attacked by like Route 1 Pokemon. Oh, I'm not even going to bother fighting that Onyx. <laughs> All right. You know what? My next goal is to buy the weapons. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. How much do the weapons cost? 100. Because we will need those weapons to fight the raid bosses. I mean, to fight the, like, the corrupted. I'm going to be ashamed of myself if I get killed by a Magikarp. Is that a shiny Magikarp? 
You found one? He's not sparkling, but he's orange. Golden magic cups are shiny. But he's got orange stripes. He doesn't look like one. You got you got two shards to spare. I do. Can I please have two shards to spare? And I'll pay you back. They're on a loaning system. I don't know. These shards are kind of hard to come by, and I I've almost died twice getting them. How about I'll give you? How about I'll give you three shards for the price of two? Uh. <laughs> My next three shards. Your next three shards. Okay. Sure. Just come find me. No, come back, come to spawn. I'm deep into this and I'm going deeper because I want to find more stuff. I don't want to walk all the way back since there's no RT. And I want to, I want to evolve my, no, okay. Yeah, but when you leave that place, I'm sure you'll spawn back where you started. While Quentin was begging for shards, I was on the verge of death. Oh my God, I almost died. Oh, I almost died. Wait, where's the shop at? Is there a shop? Oh. We're actually speaking now. Just what I needed. Ha <laughs> ha ha ha. I don't care what anybody says. If it's in the game, then it's meant for you to use it. There was a shop, there were stones, and I had money. Come here. Oh, I caught Pokemon! Beautiful. Why is there a warp called Slaughterhouse? Wait, what? No, that's crazy. There is a Slaughterhouse warp on the server. Let's go. No way. In the end, I decided to be a good friend and loan Quentin the shards he was asking for. You don't understand what you just did. Thank <laughs> you. I know exactly Thank what I just you. did. I enabled. <laughs> I enabled a beggar. Okay, team. Let's get to work. Boy. How can I swap out your moves? With my Pokemon now at a higher level, I thought it would be best to swap out their moves for way more powerful ones. Do you think, do you think it's appropriate for us to battle or not right now? I'm still down to Pokemon. You need to go find a Pokemon then. I haven't found one that captivates me. I made sure to go through each and every move for every one of my Pokemon, trying to pick only the best moveset combinations. I even had a little help from some Pokemon guides, just to be safe. I continued collecting shards, when all of a sudden, Quentin shared something with me. Oh my gosh, the plushies are so nice. The server actually made a double sal plushie. Oh my gosh, no, the, the server's actually amazing. How long does it take for this to grow? Yeah, I just found a random really? guy. As I was wandering the plains, I ended up coming across some random guy's base. <laughs> Wait, let me let me see what's going on here. <laughs> I just walked into his base. You know what? Props to this guy. He's brave for wanting to live here. Nice house. Why? Don't mind me. I'm just a peasant here. Well, Pepper Films, I'll leave you to it. See you on the other side. See you in the next life. Oh, I found a desert city. This is amazing. One of the reasons I was happy to find this city was because I was looking for bookcases for our enchanting room. Upgrades. This will work, right? I think this is gonna work. Yeah, it works. Let's go! Where are you, John? Oh, well, these po Okay, yeah, do not battle the Pokemon. Ah! Oh my god, I can't believe that happened. Okay, I'm here. How do you get mud in Minecraft in a moss block? No, you gotta make- you gotta find it, just randomly. What are you- you see me? What- what is that? A Rapidash. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a normal Rapidash. You, I, you should get shaders. This looks majestic with shaders. He's glowing. Wait, what biome does the mud block, the uh, mud spawn in? Do I need Silk Touch, I mean, to get it? Aren't you wondering why I'm asking these questions? <sighs> you know what? It's best not to ask. I know I'm going to find out eventually. And where do you find a moss block? My refresh. You got your sixth member? I don't need one right now. This is ridiculous. What do you want from me? You, you're stalling. I need to level up my Pokemon. I'm not stalling. I'm looking for a specific type, and I can't find it. Yeah. Oh my God! Do not go to Pestilence Plains in the Nether. They actually shoot fire. You know the newbiest Minecraft player, dumbest or something. I'm traversing the swamp. I will delete my channel before I'm slaughtered by a Butterfree. Our entire day three is just be crying with a moss block. You're not gonna believe what I'm looking at, Quentin. What? A moss block? Many. Please. Many moss please blocks. Please bring it back. Please bring it back. Please. Yeah, I'm in the house. I ended up deciding to give Quentin a moss block. Let's throw this junk out of my inventory. <laughs> uh. Thank you. We're not coming here. Uh huh. <laughs> You are an old head, so you don't know Ursa Luna has a new evolution. Uh, you used that in the last playthrough we did on Pixelmon, so yes, I did know. <laughs> and let me tell you this, you could have saved the last 45 minutes of your time if you went to the shop and bought the item. It wasn't there. It wasn't there? 
It was now time for the next battle. Who would win this one? Level 62? Things were looking into my favor because I had loaded up my Pokemon with tons of rare candies. It was time to win. The gap in power is actually a little crazy right now. Mamoswine! Jeez, what the? It didn't matter how big his Pokemon were. Clearly mine were far more powerful. Oh no. Rare candies, they really go a long way. Ursaluna! Even as Ursaluna couldn't look my Pokemon in the eye. You can take this, Ursaluna. Are we all going to get defeated by one Pokemon? Quinton was terrified, and he had to start brainstorming if he wanted to come back. <sighs> Haunter. And thankfully, we were ready for Haunter this time. Didn't matter how many times he put us down, it was time for our comeback. Oh, they are all level six. Oh, humana, 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 humana. Unlike last time, Haunter proved to be nothing more than a piece of cake. Even little Raichu didn't stand a chance against the towering power of Noivern. It's my last Pokemon. Raichu! But Noivern was not going to deal the final blow. No, it was up to our trusty Nido King who was ready to end it all. Wait, you're never hitting him. Wait, oh, yeah, you're cooked. No, the, yeah, poison, the poison will do the work. The poison will do the work. <laughs> Gotta put him out of his misery. <laughs> By this point, he was done. He was running out of time and he was running out of Pokemon. We have no options, Raichu. No! Go to sleep. And like that, my team had redeemed themselves. I didn't realize the gap in our power. Thank you, Nido King. You've done well. What have you been feeding these guys? <laughs> Berries. Over here is hard work and dedication. <laughs> Wait, look, look at this. Do you know what he's capable of evolving into? <laughs> Since I was already at spawn, I decided to do a little exploring, considering that I had some spare time on my hands, and I ended up discovering that the server had a casino. Now, if you wanted to use the casino, you had to go to the main area, buy a crate key with some of the shards, and then you traded in that crate key at one of the machines for a random Pokemon. So, I decided to see if I could get lucky and get something good. Dratini? What? Where? That's what I got for Actually, my key. Oh! I bought my Pokemon! Yeah, I should have kept my mouth shut. Remember that deal I made with Quinton earlier? Put Slowpoke in. You have to evolve my Haunter too. No. Switch it to someone else. I will gladly evolve Haunter when I get my sixth Pokemon. Now that I had a sixth member on my team, he was demanding that I evolve his next Pokemon. Lesson of the day, be sure to succeed in silence. I didn't say Jochini was in the party. He's in the PC. You said when you get six Pokemon. No, no, you said six oh, Pokemon. Oh, I've had like, more I than six level... Pokemon. Uh, then, then it was well past due. <laughs> Come here. What are those levels? Yes, Quinton was in the right. But honestly, I didn't want to give him the Gengar. He didn't survive the transformation. I have nothing to give back to you. Ha uh, ha. There was a success rate of 0.2%. Oh, looks like I got a new member on my team then, Jatini. <laughs> so, you know, yo, give me back my Mon. Now. <laughs> well, I had wasted enough time. After my failed, futile attempt, it was time to get back to building my team and making them stronger. And it turns out that there was a feature that I had always wanted to use, Mega Evolutions. And to get Mega Evolutions, you have to get tokens. And every Pokemon type has a token. In this case, I wanted Psychic Tokens for my Alakazam. Now, to get Psychic Tokens, you have to deal with a Psychic Pokemon. Thankfully, I was going to the end because there I could expect a lot of psychic spawns. Now, you guys have no idea how grateful I was to find out that the server actually had a public end portal in the Prime Valley spawn. Once I warped to that reality, it was just right there. No need to waste time looking for strongholds. And once I was in the dimension, I made my way to the main island to discover that there were a lot of unknown Pokemon. And guess what type unknown are? They're psychic type. I walked around the island for a bit, hoping to see if there was anything interesting. And I even wanted to appease my curiosity and see if this area was spawn protected. It wasn't. But I wasn't going to become a vandal, so I put the block back. After that, I made my way to the portal that would take me to the Outer End Islands. And yes, there they were. All the unknowns I could catch. Now, how exactly do tokens work? Best way to get started is by opening up your Pokedex. In this case, we want Psychic Tokens, and those are only dropped by Psychic Pokemon, so I'm gonna look up Unknown. And here it is. And yes, that does not look like an Unknown. That is a Substitute doll, but it is, like I said, a Substitute. They'll probably update the sprite eventually. 
Each Pokemon has a series of tasks you have to complete if you want to get a token, like capture it 10 times, defeat it 10 times, or use one of its move 10 times. When you finally complete all three, you get a whopping amount of... One token. Yes, one token. It's a grind. So if you really want that mega evolution, you better be committed. And I was committed, at least for the first few minutes. I ended up battling 10 unknowns, and then after that I had to go through the annoying endeavor of trying to catch them without fainting them because they were all underleveled. And then after that, I had to do the fun task of fighting 10 more Pokemon using 10 unknown moves. While I was doing that, I ended up encountering a Ponyta. So I tried catching it with the hopes that I could use it as a rideable mount when it evolved into Rapidash. Once I caught that, it was back to the grind. Now at the time, I was under the impression that I was gonna get rewarded multiple tokens. So you could not understand the amount of disappointment I felt when I only got the one. So yeah, if you really want Mega Evolutions, you have to work for them. And just to give you some perspective, the Alakazam stone that I wanted, 40 psychic tokens. And I had to do 30 tasks to get one. And after that, you can't even go back to doing unknowns. You have to find another psychic Pokemon. So good luck finding psychic Pokemon and doing those tasks 30 times times the 40 for each token. That comes out to a total of 1,200 tasks amongst 40 Pokemon. Good luck finding them all. With my dreams of getting a Mega Evolution out the window, it was time to do some more exploring to find the secret to defeating Quinton's Pokemon team. During my exploration, I came across a number of different sites, the most important of all being this small plant growing in a lush cave. Why was it important? Because the materials it dropped were necessary for crafting a healer. And a healer was just what I needed because I wanted to explore Pestilence Plains without having to worry about my entire team fainting on me. I replanted these flowers with the hopes that I could grow more of these essential revival herbs. I put the herbs in the furnace to make heal powder, and then I went to go see if the Vivichoke was done growing, and thank god it was, this thing took forever to grow. And because it was the only one that we had, I decided to turn it into seeds. Reason being was because this was the only way we were gonna get more. I replanted them, and this time I used a little bit of bone meal to speed up the process because I was not gonna wait what felt like another month again just to grow a vegetable. I needed them now. With the Vivichoke harvested, I could now craft a Max Revive, one of the necessary items I needed to make a healer. I also needed to buy some honey bottles to craft regular revives. When you combine a honey bottle with the revive powder, you get a revive. Combine three revives with the Vivichoke and you get a Max Revive. Kind of repetitive, but it was all falling into place. And then I had to get my gas tier, which I also bought with my large sum of pebbles. Pebbles being the in-game currency. The time had finally come to craft a healer. It only took us what felt like months, but we're here. We have all the stuff we need, and now it's simply a matter of putting it on the table and crafting it. Four iron, two copper, a diamond, a revive, and a gas tier. And with that, we had a healer. But my excitement waned when I found out that it had to charge. This was going to be an issue because I thought that the healer meant instant healing. But you know what? We could work with this. It only took a few seconds for the healer to fully charge, and after that, it worked perfectly. At this point, I felt that I was finally equipped to properly adventure through Pestilence Plains. So, I warped to the dimension, took my Ponyta now evolved into a Rapidash. It was time for our next step. With the Rider's Crop, I was able to hop on and begin the next leg of our journey. Would we survive through the dangerous Pestilence Plains? Only time could tell. But to me, if we were at least able to get a few hundred blocks out, that was a win. And with Ponyta's speed, I was expecting to evade all the dangerous Pokemon. My Pokemon and I got as far as this bridge, and the reason we came to a halt was because I noticed something in the distance. Something sparkly. Something shiny. It was a shiny Pokemon. All I had to do was deal with the Zigzagoon, and then after that, I had to make my attempt to catch the shiny Drillbird. I threw a great ball hoping that it would work, but he was stubborn and he was dangerous. He was doing a lot of damage, so I tried to stop him in his tracks with another Pokeball. This was a stubborn Pokemon. 
As Drillbur advanced, he was forcing me to back up to the other end of the bridge, which was making me a little worried because I knew there were Pokemon waiting for me in the grass. I tried placing a block, but it was protected by spawn protection, and that's when they came out of nowhere. All of the little bugs and creatures I was worried about, and I still couldn't place blocks because the protection went so far. In the end, I ended up taking some serious damage, so I tried to make my escape via the river when the fish decided to attack me too, and well... Yeah, worst mistake of my life. Sometimes you just gotta let the shiny Pokemon go. It was time for attempt number two, and this time we weren't gonna stop for anything. Rapidash and I were gonna charge through all of the Pokemon like it was nobody's business, but unfortunately Rapidash was not invincible, and he only took a couple hits before he fainted. Thankfully I had a revive and we were able to get out of there before something bad happened. Now my Rapidash didn't have all of its health, but that was okay, because we still had a healer. Though it still had to charge, so I moved elsewhere, somewhere I thought was safe. Made a little tower, but it didn't matter. The Pokemon still flew up and killed me. Give it up for attempt number three. This time we were on a rescue mission. My healer was still out there and I had to get it back. So I made my way back and, well, yeah, there you go. It was long gone. Thankfully, I came across a Ditto, and well, yeah, Ditto's not really important, but it was a highlight. I had lost a healer, and honestly, anything was gonna make my day. The Ditto was pretty easy to catch, and after that, I put him in the PC, but onto the bigger things. See, as you just witnessed, Pestilence Plains is no joke. If you wanna get far, you need good armor, you need good Pokemon, and you need good food, because it's the only dimension where hunger is actually enabled. So, I started making a wheat farm to combat that issue, and from there we were just gonna do it one step at a time, slowly preparing for the dangers ahead. Another way of combating those dangers was upgrading our gear. The iron armor was not cutting it, so it was time to go get some netherite in hopes that that could probably stand a chance. I don't know, I mean, things were looking pretty bleak. Though my mood changed instantly as soon as I found my first pieces of ancient debris, though mining it this way, it was gonna take way too long before I could craft an armor set. So I was gonna have to use the old blowing up the bed in the nether method. And then after that, it was time to go find a sheep substitute because in Cobblemon, sheep don't spawn. Thankfully, there are sheep-like Pokemon, and I tried this on a whim, and it worked. You can actually shear some of the Pokemon. It was beautiful. So I tried to collect this Pokemon with hopes that I could actually farm more, though that wasn't gonna work, so I ended up just opting to catch it instead. Next, I tried shearing this Mareep, and well, Mareep, though it has wool, you can't shear it, so that Pokemon was off, and I wasn't gonna need it, so why was it gonna be on my land? How about this Wooloo? Yep, shears work on Wooloo as well. Now, from here on out, I was gonna have to go on a big hunt for wool, and these two Pokemon that I had caught, they weren't gonna produce nearly the amount I needed, so I was off. The ultimate quest for wool. Where would I find it? I don't know. But get this, I ended up finding a shipwreck before I found some wool. Go figure. Eventually, my journeys led me to a jungle biome where I ended up finding some red apricorns. And, well, I couldn't help myself. I had to harvest them because that was just free Pokeballs. I mean, honestly, how many Pokeballs have a red base? A lot of them. I then came across this abandoned village. Buildings were covered in cobwebs, and guess what? When you break cobwebs, you get string. And when you combine string, you get wool. So, I was breaking each web one by one with my sword. After that, I came across what looked like an apricorn farm. Somebody had just planted one here, and well, the place looked abandoned, so I decided to borrow some stuff from this person's chest. I mean, if they really wanted to keep it safe, they would have claimed it right. After borrowing some items, I found way more wooloo and all the wool I needed. Now that I had my supplies, I was ready to craft a ton of beds, but not before planting all of these apricorn tree seeds. See, I was getting tired of having to venture out for more of the apricorns, so why not just grow them in my backyard? After that, I gathered some of the apricorns I already had and organized them in a chest, and then I decided to try out the cooking function on the server, though I was interrupted by the sound of a mob taking damage. That noise was so loud that I couldn't even concentrate. I went to go investigate only to find out that it was a small igly buff. Poor thing was drowning in a block of water, so I had to help it out, and then after that, it was back to work. Now where were we? Ah, yes, we were cooking! Lots of options, like this mixed berry bowl. Two berries in a bowl? Simple enough, right? Okay, so you place the berries up there with the bowl, and you have to place them in the order that the recipe describes. And once you click the little power button, it checks off, and boom! You get a little berry bowl. And each food has its own custom perks, like different types of potion effects, and I was not sharing with this bunnelby. No thank you. 
After that, I decided to spam the thing and just craft even more berry bowls because, like I said before, we needed food for Pestilence Plains. Shortly after, it was time to craft my beds for the next nether expedition. The netherite was calling my name. I went into the nether portal, ready for more netherite harvesting, and that's when I saw that people were talking about megastones. I brushed it off thinking that people were talking about harvesting tokens, and there was no way I was going to go back to doing that. When all of a sudden, I was randomly teleported to a different area, I was in the Nexus. And there in the Nexus, a lot of people on the server. I checked my mailbox only to find out that there was a free Megastone in there. And guess what I got? The Low Punny Stone. Of all the stones I could have gotten, that's the one I was stuck with. But you know what? Free is free, and I can't complain when I was gifted the stone. So, I was gonna make do with what I had, and well, looks like I was gonna have to catch low bunny. Until someone offered me a godsend. Someone was asking around for the low bunny stone, and guess what? He wanted to trade it for a Steelix stone. I met up with the guy, we made the trade. Honestly, I couldn't let this offer pass me by. So to all of you low punny fans, I'm sorry, but a deal is a deal. From there, I went back to the nether, blowing up more beds, mining even more ancient debris until I had enough to make some netherite scraps. They were smelted in a blast furnace, and then after that, it was time to journey back into the nether. So I hopped on Rapidash with the hopes of finding a bastion. You see, since this new Minecraft update came out, you know what, actually it's not that new. Um, oh, wait, oh yeah, I forgot this happened. You'd think Rapidash would be fireproof. That's not the case. Anyways, I needed a Bastion because if I was going to make Netherite armor, then I needed the Netherite upgrade template. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, and well, you can only find them here. Thankfully, the Piglins were not hostile. They were actually peaceful towards me, so I could freely explore without having to worry about getting killed. I continued exploring the Bastion with the hopes that I would eventually find the upgrade template, and no, but I did find this piece of armor, auspicious armor, which could be used to level up a Pokemon. Now, I ended up finding my smithing template, thank god, but if I wanted a full set of armor, then I was gonna have to find three more, and it, well, it already took long enough finding the one. After crafting the Netherite Inga, I spotted something in the corner of my eye. Standing around in the front entrance of my house was a Ralts, and this was a big deal, because Ralts evolves into Gardevoir, a psychic fairy-type Pokemon which I thought would be extremely useful to have on my team, more useful than Alakazam. So, I had to act quickly, I got some Pokeballs, and looked around for the Ralts because it wasn't there anymore, and I started panicking because I thought Ralts had despawned, but thankfully, the Pokemon just decided to go for a little walk. At first sight, I sent out Noivern, and I had to be extremely careful because I was not trying to one-shot this Pokemon. I threw the Quick Ball, and thankfully, after one attempt, we now had a Ralts on our team. After that, I decided to take a little break from all the important grinding and go exploring. I ended up coming across this ocean monument, which was pretty cool, and I was wondering if there was anything worth finding on the inside. So I decided to explore it, mining my way through, but I almost drowned. So it was time for me to implement an old method, and if you've been playing Minecraft for a while, then you know where I'm going with this. The air pocket method with the oak door. You can never go wrong with it, especially when you're exploring these and you don't have any sponges on you. All you have to do is craft a door, place it, and you get an air pocket. But chances are, if you're watching this video, then you probably already knew this method. Anyways, I kept exploring around with the hopes of finding the gold. I at least knew there was going to be that in there. And it was a relatively peaceful process because there was no Elder Guardian. So the gold was just there free for the taking. It was a fun little adventure, but it was time to get back to work. So, once again, I found myself in a cave looking for diamonds for my netherite armor. The goal was to make a chest plate, and I wonder if I'm wrong on this or not, but is it true that chest plates provide more armor points than, let's say, uh, like leggings? Because I always prioritize making the chest plate first. But anyways, that's what I did. By the way, that was a huge vein of iron. But after that, I ended up making my chest plate. With the chest plate now in hand, it was time to make the smithing table so that we could apply the upgrade template. I combined everything together, and at last, I had my second piece of netherite armor. But even that wasn't enough. So I began asking some questions around the server, and the kind community graced me with priceless information. The best way to travel around Pestilence Plains is not by walking, and it's not by riding a Rapidash, it's by flying on a Charizard. 
and to get a Charizard, I needed a Charmander, and believe it or not, I was also told that Charmanders will spawn in snow biomes if you place soul campfires. So, I ended up crafting a ton of soul campfires, and it seems a little counterintuitive for a fire type to spawn, but that's what I was told, so I gave it a try. While I was waiting for one to spawn, Quentin came out of nowhere and tried to strike a deal with me. What, 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 what's going on, Quentin? What are you, what are you offering? There's a very simple thing. I, I got a Lucario, right? The, the Mega Lucario, so you can evolve your Lucario. But I simply want 10 shards and a Charmander. If a Charmander spawns, you can have the second one that spawns. I want the first one. I placed all... Here, walk around with me. Let me show you, let me show you all the work oh. I've been doing. Bro, me and Raichu don't play. Like, like <laughs> we want the first one. <laughs> See all these campfires? The reason I've placed so many is because I'm trying to cover as much area as I possibly can so that it will increase the spawn rate in all of these other areas. Like, like you actually think Charmander's spawning in the snow? Why would he You're not crazy. spawn in the snow? He's a fire type! A Torkoal spawned here. Do you want the shards or not? Throw your stone over there. I'll throw my shards over here. Just throw it right there. Okay. What? Oh my oh, god! The You're crazy! Oh, <laughs> Give me what? Give me what's owed to me! <laughs> when I get my Charmander! Give me my... No, that's insane. Oh, thank you. Here. I now had a second keystone for Lucario's Mega Evolution, and if you're wondering why he gave me a Lucario stone, well that's what he got because he got a free stone as well. Plus, off camera, I ended up capturing a Lucario, so this was perfect, but we still needed a Charmander. So I went to the Nether because I guess the Nether spawns Charmanders as well, but that was taking way too long. So I sent out an offer and someone TP'd to me. We made one of the greatest business deals in Minecraft history because for the low price of only 200 pebbles, I was able to purchase my very own Charmander. We made the trade, he sent the Pokemon over, and after that, all I had to do was go to the PC and claim him. And yeah, his name is Timmy. The next big step was to buy 64 rare candies because this Charmander was not what I wanted him to be. He had potential, and it could only be unlocked if we stuffed him with candy. Probably not the most ethical course of action, but in the Pokemon world, you have to do whatever it takes. It was finally time. We were ready to go back to Pestilence Plains, but I wanted to take him out for a test drive, and it turns out that the flying mechanic was a little tricky to figure out. Poor Timmy ended up crashing into the ocean, where he slowly sank to the bottom. I don't know how he survived, but hey, this Charmander's made of tougher stuff. Now in Pestilence Plains, we were soaring through the canyons with the hopes of getting to a special location. The one spot that I wanted to reach for this entire playthrough, we were going to a place called Featherdown Farm. We flew night and day until we finally got to what looked like an outpost. I decided to take the Charizard down for a landing to see what we were going to find, but I also had to keep an eye out for Pokemon because we weren't completely in the clear. I ended up getting dropped off at this small castle at the top of this tower. I surveyed the area just to make sure that it was safe, and then after that, once I thought it was clear, I continued to explore the rest of the structure, when all of a sudden a Pokemon just flew and knocked me off! And wow, half of my health was already gone, so I was running for my life, I panicked and took shelter inside of this building, and I'm not gonna lie, Charizard, he startled me there for a second, but yeah, I was gonna have to wait them out. Thankfully, I had lots of berry bowls. I made my escape and continued flying into the night until I finally came across the actual destination. Mystic Fall Glade, one of the towns of Pestilence Plains, and there I interacted with one of the, what do you call them, like waypoints or warps? That way I could teleport there if I don't want to fly all the way back here. And after that, it was time to keep looking for Featherdown Farm because from what I was told, it was nearby. So I thought I could get there on foot, did a little walking around, but that wasn't the case. So once again, I hopped on Charizard and it was time to see what else we could find, like the Kitty Casino. I don't know if that's actually a casino, but it was cool. <laughs> uh, we also came across some other uh, Minecraft settlements and finally, Sun rose on another beautiful Minecraft day, and we had reached our location, Featherdown Farm. We could now have fast traveling an option for us. There it is, that's gonna take us to the other one where you could get more Wooloos. And the reason we wanted to come here was because this was a great place to farm shards. There was a Pidgey spawner, and it had a high spawn rate of the shard Pidgeys, you know, the corrupted ones with the sparkles around them. Except, these Pidgeys, they were extremely hostile, and well, there were a lot of them. 
and boy do they do damage, so think of it this way. When you have a swarm of Pidgeys attacking you simultaneously, well, it's not ideal to stick around too long. I was gonna have to think of a way to successfully kill the Pidgeys without getting myself killed in the process. I decided to look and see if there were any weapons that could help me in my endeavors. They were expensive, so we had to get more shards if we wanted to afford them, which meant we had to kill more Pidgeys. And I'm telling you right now, I probably ran in there in and out multiple times trying to stay alive, and it took so long, and a lot of berry bowls later, but I finally had the idea of using the Charizard. See, Charizard had a special attack where he could breathe fire, just like that, you see. So I thought to myself, maybe if I get low enough, I can just fry them all. So I tried that, and they murdered Charizard. Did you ever hear that? Pidgeys murdering Charizards. In what world does that make sense? In Pestilence Plains, only there. So we were gonna have to do this one at a time. There was an invisible barrier where if I were to lure them out just enough, they couldn't hurt me. And then all of a sudden I was TP to spawn because I guess the world crashed. And that's when I met Saul Goodman on this server. And yeah, I met the server owner as well. We decided to start showing off our Pokemon because it was going to be a while before the servers were back up, so I showcased my Dragonite, now evolved from the Dratini, and uh, someone decided to flux on me with their Suicune, so yeah, it wasn't a competition, and I tried to get it, but, well, no dice. With the servers back up, I was back in the New Horizons world where I came across a shiny looking Pokemon, not a shiny Pokemon, but it was shiny, it was a Ponyta. I had never seen one like this before, so it was safe to assume that it came out in a game way later than the ones I played. And just like the regular Rapidash, you can ride this one as well, so I was going to be sticking with this one instead of the classic. But yeah, it was time to move on to the next project, making potions, because Quinton was pestering me about the next battle, and I was not going to go into one without being properly prepared. So it was time to do some terraforming around our land because we were going to get farming. What were we gonna farm? Well, we were gonna farm berries, of course, but before I could start planting the berry bushes, I had to prep the area. I tilled the soil, placed some slabs down so that I could make a walkway. It was gonna be great. There was nothing Quinton could do to stop this process from happening because Quinton, well, he hates playing Minecraft. He hates doing all the prep work. As for me, I love this stuff. So I began planting these berry bushes here, and it turns out that you can actually do some crossbreeding, but that was a little complicated, so I was just going to stick to growing one bush at a time. I then decided to craft a barrel so that we could start storing our berries. I went on a huge expedition to go harvest as many as I could because I wanted everything. I also decided to harvest the apricorns from the trees I had planted earlier, and I used the black ones and the yellow ones to make ultra balls. Things were going my way finally! Got some raspberries, I also wanted to get some chesto berries, but they weren't growing yet. So I made a composter, got some bone meal, clicked that berry bush, and I finally got the chesto berries as well. While I was gathering more materials, I came across a wild electabuzz. And well, I hadn't seen one spawn before, so I assumed they were pretty rare in Cobblebond. I decided to catch it with the newly crafted Ultra Balls, and once I caught it, I decided to evolve it into an Electivire. Though I did have to buy some items like a link cable so I didn't have to trade with someone, but after that I clicked evolve, and well, there he was. Throwaway Pokemon, but it was good to have. I started crafting some brewing stands so that we could make our potions, and the potion making process to heal your Pokemon, you make them just like you would regular Minecraft potions. You need the brewing stand, but we also needed specific berries, specifically the lumberry which we could get by planting different types of berry bushes next to each other. Now the reason we needed the lumberry was because it was used to make the full restore potion, one of the best healing items in the game. Now, to do this, we were going to have to break up the berry bushes that we had already planted and start crossbreeding berries. I also had to harvest some medicinal leaks so that we could create the base for the potion. Once you have the base, you throw in an Oram Berry and that makes a regular potion. You throw in a Super Root onto the regular potion to upgrade it to a Super Potion, a Mago Berry to upgrade that into a Hyper Potion, then you add a Vivichoke to the Hyper Potion to upgrade it to a Full Potion, then the Lum Berry to upgrade it to a Full Restore. Wow, that is a process. 
Now we still had to crossbreed some berries, plus I didn't have all the ingredients like the essential super roots to make the super potions. Thankfully the roots could be found on the rooftops of caves. I went back to the house and I started wondering how I could farm these things. And after doing some quick research and fighting an invisible Pokemon that wasn't there, though the sparkles were there so I don't know, guess it was a glitch. But anyways, in order to farm these roots I was gonna have to go into the mine and dig a little chamber where I could plant them on the ceiling. They grow on the ceiling like that, and they just spread from block to block, like vines. So, I was gonna wait for that. In the meantime, I was in the nether getting some bones, because I needed more bone meal, and these fossil structures were a great way of getting that. Once I had my bone blocks, I converted them into stacks of bone meal, and then I immediately went back to the base. The reason I wanted the bone meal? Well, these berry bushes were taking way too long to grow. Plus, I wanted to start working on other projects, so the sooner I could get this done, the sooner we could start working on bigger and better things. As for the roots, I used the bone meal on them as well, and it was pretty effective. I got some of my super roots, because you know, the roots aren't actually super roots, they're regular roots, energy roots. And there's like a 25% chance for an energy root to drop a super root, so yeah, we had some of those now. And of course, if I was gonna make potions, I did need bottles, so I went to a desert to gather as much sand as I could. And lastly, I went to a jungle to go gather some of the last berries I needed to complete my berry farm, and at last, the setup for this farm was finally complete. I was a gardener now! Look at these crops! The time had come to start making our potions. I put the bottles in as well as the medicinal leeks, and slowly but surely, it was a matter of upgrading one potion after another. The regular potion, then the super root to make the super potion, then after that the mago berry to make the hyper potion. But we were still missing our last berry, the lum berry, which I could get by crossing a person berry with a chesto berry. Now I know it may seem confusing because I'm throwing out all of these berry names, but basically, in simple terms, when you plant two berry bushes together, you have a chance of generating a third random berry. Think of it like this. You plant tomatoes next to potatoes, and all of a sudden you get a banana. That's how it works in Pokemon somehow. So yeah, after crossbreeding the berries, I finally got the Mago Berry I was looking for, planted one of them to get a berry bush, then with the remaining berries, I took them back to the brewing stand and used them to make Hyper Potions. Then I added the Vivid Choke to upgrade the Hyper Potions to the next tier, and then after that, the Lum Berry to those potions, and we finally had our full restore. I am sick of talking about this, it is a long process, so you know what, let's just move on. We had everything we needed now to fight Quentin in a battle. It didn't matter if he fainted my team, because I was ready to bring him back from the dead with the power of Pokemon Science. So remember folks, you can always win so long as you have max revives. It was time to have some fun. I was gonna buy the Rift Breaker because by this point I had saved enough shards, and now it was finally time to give those gross Pidgeys in Featherdown Farm a run for their money. Question is, how did it work? Well, you punch and it basically throws these slashes of air towards your enemies. You could also dash forward, and here is me posing with the dev of the server. He designed these things, so hi Pebs, if you're watching this, hello. I was so excited to use these against those evil Pidgeys, but first I wanted to buy some leather because I was gonna have to make books for my enchanting table. You see, my netherite armor is precious, and I had no intent of having it chipped away by those Pidgeys. So I made the enchanting table, although I didn't have one block of obsidian. So I was gonna have to do the cheapskate method and use one of the corners of my nether portal. I know, we're pretty broke, but yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. After that, I built the frame for the enchanting table's bookshelves, and I covered them up with slabs, you know, just to make them look a little nicer. And after that, I had to roll for enchantments, hoping that with whatever I got, it would be pretty good. But before I started enchanting, I just wanted to mess around with the Rift Breaker Fists a little more. I mean, these things were incredibly fun to use. They just felt so powerful, and these little Pokemon? <laughs> they didn't stand a chance. Once I was done having my fun, I enchanted my chest plate and got protection 4! Now I had to get the next pieces of armor. And then I got lazy and decided to buy the rest of the fully enchanted set for my good friend who traded the low punny stone for the steelix stone. Good to see you again, friend. Thank you for that sweet deal. Anyways, I was properly geared up from head to toe. Now it was simply a matter of going to the Pidgeys and getting my revenge. Let's see how well they fared against my brand new gear. Now aside from the lag, and for some reason I do experience lag spikes in this area, I was doing pretty well for myself. 
I was taking on the hordes of Pidgeys and there was nothing they could do to stop me. The armor was holding up well, the rift breaking fists were demolishing them, and just to rub it in their faces, I was eating chicken in their own homes. Chicken that they dropped! Now every time you kill a Pokemon, you get what's called Essence, and you can use that Essence to upgrade the abilities of the weapon you're using. For example, a Rift Strike, well that costs 300 to upgrade, Abyssal Smash, that costs even more Essence. So the entire goal was to wipe out as many Pidgeys as possible to collect as much Essence as possible to upgrade the abilities. Before I went about upgrading the Rift Gear, I wanted to try the server's Poke Editor. For the cost of a Pepkin, that's basically a token you use, you get to change everything about your Pokemon from their nature down to resetting their IVs and EVs. In this case, I was going to reset Primarina's nature to Timid because that's what the Pokemon guy told me to do. After that, I upgraded my Rift Gear abilities with the essence I collected, and you know what? I decided to do something different. Following the upgrade, I decided to spend a little and buy a Baby Legendary. You see, after killing all those Pidgeys, I had racked up quite a few shards, so I wanted to reward myself. And oh my goodness, I got a Baby Zapdos. I went to the PC to go see what he looked like because he was just a tiny little thing, like a little chicken nugget. Look, there he is. And his name? Little Zap. Z-A-P. He was adorable, and not only that, he was a shiny Pokemon. I then got a surprise visit from our server's dev, and he was very nice until he beat an Oddish to death right in front of me. He then gave me some dumplings and went on his way. After that, I began staturating Primarina by shoving a bunch of vitamins down her throat, and as cruel as it sounds, that is the Pokemon way, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Lots of calciums and proteins, all those necessary vitamins and minerals needed to spike up their stats so that they can be ultimate battlers. I was inspired by the dumpling recipe and decided to make my own. Unfortunately, I didn't have the ingredients to make those exact dumplings, but there was a smaller recipe called Munchlax Dumplings. I went back to the plains to start taking on more Pidgeys, and this time I was fueled up with all this good food. Though my armor was breaking, so I had to buy more from my local armor plug, this time I was going to be unstoppable. <laughs> yes, even Ralts was going to be unstoppable with the power of these candies. Yes, my Pokemon were getting juiced up with all of these artificial enhancers. There was nothing that Quentin could do to stop us now. With the power of proteins and calciums and irons and anything and anything you could put in a bottle. These Pokemon, I mean, they were going to be fighting machines. Look at them. Even Timmy was having fun. And Lucario with his Mega Stone. Oh, Quentin had no idea what was coming, because I was going to use a Pokemon he wasn't even anticipating. You see, Quentin likes to mock me for my limited Pokemon knowledge, calling me a Gen 1-er. Yeah, I like Gen 1, but you know what? I can keep up with the times, especially when it comes to the new Pokemon. This Primeape? Well, that's something Quentin would expect me to use, but he wouldn't expect me to take it a step further and evolve it into its new form, Annihilate. No, this was going to catch him off guard. I decided to celebrate the growth of my team by purchasing another weapon called the Rift Shaper Scepter. This scepter allowed me to teleport, it allowed me to shoot magic beams, I mean, honestly, we had come a long ways from our first day. We had netherite armor, magic items, fully leveled Pokemon, all of our work finally paid off, and I was exactly where I wanted to be, because now, Pestilence Plains was like any other place. The Pokemon couldn't hurt me, they couldn't hurt my Pokemon, everything was perfect. Yeah, check out, check out the staff. Teleports. Look at this Pidgey. It doesn't do that much damage because it's like level Are we going to have a, a, another battle? Let it be known that the success of your team depends on my generosity. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> Maybe not in my video. That your victory hinged upon my kindness. Here you go. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my. There you go. Now there shouldn't oh. be any setbacks. Okay, give me give me a moment. <laughs> give me give me a moment. Oh my gosh. Yo, my Minecraft video, I thought it was gonna be an hour, it's actually gonna be twenty minutes. I don't know how. Like we've done so much stuff. Like Okay, it depends. Twenty minutes of good straight content or it can it can be an hour of of grinding. But I don't know if people wanna watch that. Just make it an hour of grinding. Are we gonna have a battle? Wanna have a battle? It's for the plot of the video. <laughs>
when do you want to have a battle? Uh, are, I'm assuming all your Pokemon are level 100? They are. Give me a second. I'm flying right now. If I leave this realm, I'm gonna hit the ground too hard. I'm not trying to land uh, in the wild. We can battle right now if I had one more donation. That, no. My generosity has its limits. <laughs> bro, I, I... Bro, like... Like, like I actually... I, I, okay, a donation of 14. Well, that'll That's just enough to put you over the top. I don't want to do that. What do you mean over the top? That's just what you need to, to get what you think will be a perfect victory. I can't... Is that... No, no. Just No one is level 100 for context. You can easily get them all over level 100 with hey, the amount hey, of this hey, you, like, you like Ralts? You're a Gen 3 person. You like Ralts, right? I already caught a Ralts. <laughs> 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 no, my team could beat. Actually, I, I feel like I have better knowledge. I could beat. My team could beat yours. I don't understand how someone can beg for money yet retain that level of pride and cockiness. Regardless, I was gonna have to throw him another bone. Thankfully, I found a nice ice spire with some loot that I could give him. You know, a nice little hand-me-down. It's the least I could do considering the damage I was about to inflict on his team. A nice netherite helmet to make amends for whatever feelings are shattered once we defeat him once and for all. Anyways, I was flying and Charizard decided to just die on me. I plummeted to the bottom of an ocean and I was freaking out because this was a pestilence plains ocean and there were water types ready to eat me alive. Look at him. He's not working with me. I don't know what the problem with this Charizard is. I called him back into his Pokeball and with my scepter I teleported onto the island where I then released Charizard once again, but not before I was attacked by the locals. Thankfully, this time, I was properly equipped to handle the mob. Now that Charizard was out of his ball, it was time to fly, and wow, these sights were beautiful. Floating sky islands. Everything was peaceful, I was taken in the sights, and then Charizard did this to me. Oh my god! John, you're sure at this. You're... You're deformed, right, you? Deformed? It's not the right... I'm not actually. I was. I take back what I was about to say. Never mind. It's not the what? <laughs> it's too small. It's the, not the right size. The right. The right. Ca, 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 what? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. What else you got? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. What else you got? Do you have nine shards? I do I have nine shards. We could be fighting raid bosses, have a battle. Bang out the recording. The faster for you, the better, right? Don't you want to go edit it? So you can be right on time for Saturday? I can do the raid bosses on my own. No, but it'd be better if narrative, narratively, right? Like It's like, oh, you had this person, started the video. You don't want to just write them off. Quentin used negotiation. It wasn't very effective. <laughs> like, it, it's just nine, you know? I gave you 64. Had I given you none, then I'd be inclined to give you some. I gave you a stack. Okay. Okay. I, I, how about we? I trade. How about I give you something of value? You got greedy and you tried to allocate that to your entire team of infants. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. How, how about how about I give you? Uh. Uh. How about this? Come here. Okay. I'll give you diamonds. I don't need diamonds. Do you see what I'm wearing? <laughs> Wait. Oh my gosh, I'm blind! John? Yes. What I tell you that I actually. Wait a second. Uh, I need to go do something in private. Me and my kids <laughs> need to be in private. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm ready for that battle. That's all I'm saying. Here. I had no idea. Okay, you're doing that. I'm gonna go. Uh spend my shards on like some shiny pokemon just to say i have them wait but i was still like oh john come to the river come come to this dock i must be crazy i don't know where you are i'm behind the house i see i see you i don't want it to despawn yeah you oh, see it oh yeah i see it what are you doing I'm not doing anything okay, okay, okay. well john you know what they say what do they say what do they say <laughs> <laughs> Seeing as how I already had this mon, I couldn't let Quentin catch it. No! <laughs> Leave him alone! 
This is your timer. You better hope it works. Yeah, it's fine. Out of the way. Maybe it doesn't feel comfortable. It's not meant to be. It is. I'm a fool. What if you tried catching it? Oh, oh, Noivern. With Noivern, I was gonna make quick work of the Dragonite. I can't let this happen. What? W did you kill it? I already have one. Oh. No duplicates. Oh. <laughs> actually, wait, John. I actually really do need nine. I made a mistake. Please. I'll give you two. No. Okay, what do I have to do to get, get nine? You gotta go to the Pidgey farm and kill Pidgeys. That's what you gotta do. No, no. I went to the Pidgey farm and they just one-shot me. Here, actually, I do have something for you that will help you. Here. Okay. This is kind of a big deal. This is gonna help you at the Pidgey farm. Come here. I found this on one of my journeys. That's all Ew, you need. Why am I so slow? Does another it make you slow? It probably has a curse on it. Curse of Ew! <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what. Quinton, how much how many pebbles do you have? Like a lot. Okay. Uh all you got to do is ask anyone and I promise you they have them. Say is anyone selling netherite armor? They will sell it to you for cheap. I bought this whole armor set for 2000. Less than that actually. How do I see how much pearls I have? Uh just slash B A L. Oh, we ballin. Then you'll fit like the 100 days motif like you can do the thumbnail where you're like in dirt armor and then you got the full netherite armor in the next panel. Will they be mad that this is how I got it? No. It's like unreasonable to actually mine netherite in this uh, mod pack. <gasps> oh, Quentin, you want to see what I bought? Yeah. Here, check this out. Where are you? Right here, right in front of the house. This is my child. Where is he? What? <laughs> yeah, zap. What is I sell templates at my shop? What does that mean? The templates are the um So if you have the ingots to make another right armor, you need the upgrade templates. Ask if he sells ingots too. Just when I thought Quentin couldn't get any lower, he tried to buy shards instead of doing the work. Well, no yeah. way. Are you trying to buy shards? <gasps> that is <gasps> disgusting. The desert man will do anything. While Quinton was doing his shady dealings, I decided to go around having more fun by spending even more of my shards at the casino once again. What can I say? I have an addiction for gambling. Don't quote me on that. That's that that's that's joke by the way. Anyways, I went to the other casino because the slot machines that spawned weren't working and I was hoping to get a new baby legendary, one that I didn't already have. What am I getting? What am I getting? What am I getting? What am I getting? <gasps> Yay! I got another one! <laughs> Alright, one more. Here we go, here we go. I'm addicted to gambling. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I already got this one. I went to the PC to go collect my baby Articuno, and I was excited to see what he was gonna look like, but he wasn't sparkly. So I don't know if he was shiny or not, he just looked like a default Articuno, but yeah. After that, I began doing the last bit of prep work because I could feel that there was an oncoming battle ahead of me. It was almost time. Thankfully, I had all of my gear with me. There was no way we were gonna lose. Okay, let's wait till daytime. Or do you want to battle at night? Oh, I mess up the video that much? Let's go to sleep. I'm just seeing if there's anything here you don't understand. <gasps> you have all, you have... Don't touch my stuff. I'm not touching, I'm observing. Okay. Do you have an item that you actually would not know what to do with it? So it's a, so... I'm not even gonna tell you what it does. But you don't even have the Pokemon to do it. But there was a Pokemon you could have gotten. Alright. Pick your side. I'll stand here and then try to like put your Pokemon like right here. Like a block before the line. Like right here. So we don't have to like go up to each other, just do slash challenge double cell. I don't see anymore. Yeah. Ew, kill this rat! After all this time, the moment was finally here. You gotta have your blood sacrificed before every battle. It was finally time to see if all of our hard work would pay off. It was time for the final showdown. Oh, you ready for the final battle? Oh, you're, you're popular evolved. 
I'm gonna be honest, I was still kinda nervous because I didn't know if Quentin had any secrets up his sleeve, but then I noticed that Quentin wasn't paying attention. In fact, he was actually killing Pokemon instead of focusing on his opponent. I knew he wanted me to switch out my Pokemon, so that's exactly what I did. I decided to spring his little trap, but little did he know what I had. Yes! My secret weapon. You fool. You'll know in due time what I did. It was time for Lucario to jump into action with the power of his Mega Evolution. Giving us that stone, probably one of the few good things Quinton did for my Pokemon team. And now his actions would be his own demise. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. With only a single attack, Quinton's Gengar was out. He was not expecting this. All right. Good. I did not think you would Mega Evolve. Uh, it's time to rethink the strategy. I gotta think long and hard, actually. <laughs> Quinton followed up by sending out his investment Pokemon, Garchomp. And honestly, Garchomp is extremely intimidating because Quinton's Garchomp and I go way back to a previous video where it sweeped my team. <laughs> this is my chance. Okay, 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 let's see. Garchomp versus Lucario, what will happen? I had to be very careful to avoid making the same mistakes. History could not repeat itself. I should have never given you Lucario, I... I was taking a risk, but I had no choice. I had to switch out my Pokemon. I don't bite. <laughs> ah, okay, hold on. I, your Garchomp is giving me PTSD from the last 100 days we did, so I'm being very careful. It's whatever you want to do with that Lucario. I just want to know if, if, if they can dance with my Garchomp. This is what you want me to do. I ended up switching out Lucario because Primarina was the only Pokemon on my team who had fairy type moves. <laughs> Exactly what I want you to do. Do you realize what just, what, what just happened to you? What, what? I got poisoned. You got poisoned because of Gengar. He used Toxic Spice, and Gengar and Garchomp set up a storm. So no consequence. Oh, you'll learn. I had to be very careful with what I was about to do next. One wrong move could end it all, and now it was all up to Primarina. Garchomp could not sweep us this time. When suddenly, Quentin did something unexpected. He swapped out Garchomp for his Raichu. And in an ironic twist, Quentin's Raichu fainted at the hands of the Garchomp who set up a sandstorm. Sometimes the memes write themselves. You just killed your Pokemon. How does that feel? <laughs> what did Raichu just die to? Sandstorm. Oh. Quentin tried to use a dragon move on Primarina, but it didn't work. And instead, Primarina destroyed him. Primarina's immune? <laughs> Wait, but she's immune to Dragon Top! He was speechless. I actually need a rematch. <laughs> I forgot Primarina's immune. By this point, it wasn't even a competition. Fire versus water? Oh, you're done. Bro. With the main threats out of the way, it was finally time to deal with Quinton's leftovers. Our greatest victory was just within reach. We had to pull it off. God, I know you want to do a best two out of three. So if you can beat me twice in a row, that truly believes you're the better trainer, right? right? While Quinton was barking, I noticed that Primarina was poisoned. In only a couple turns, she was out of the game, fainted from her poison from Gengar. But we weren't out yet. We still had plenty of options to work with to destroy that hideous Mamoswine standing before us. You fool. Though Dragonite may not have been the best option considering that Mamoswine is an ice type. He used Earthquake Shoot. and Dragonite was instantly taken out of the game. My mistake. Though we were able to follow up with the strong opponent, Annihilate. The shock factor of that. Quinton had no idea that I had this thing. And best of all, he had a fire type move. Wait, Mamoswine. So Mamoswine was done. Wait, Mamoswine. He's dead. Oh, oh, he's gotta die. No, he's not. He's not gonna oh. live. He's done. Mamoswine was out. Bring out the next one. The last Pokemon Quinton had on his team, a Charizard, and it wasn't even level 100. Our victory was finally here. And to sweeten the deal, it was time to do what I wanted to do this entire time, bring Primarina back. Thankfully, we had plenty of supplies. Mm. Nothing Quinton could do to stop us. Victory was ours. Back from the dead. Good job, team. This is Primarina. No, you, you, you don't understand. <laughs> okay, okay. That was an amazing battle. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon real quick. If you win two in a row, I'll crown you the victor. That makes for bad content. No. Back-to-back -back battles? This is it. Let's go fight a raid no. boss. 
No, no. You no, underestimated no. my team. No, no, I no I didn't. You failed to take into account what they were the, capable of. How about we go to the the normal or the, the the original spawn and fight there? Ew, 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 ew. Right at the top. This is an arena. <laughs> I'm good. This is this was fun. No, it wasn't. This was fun. I my team didn't get to prove itself. Because your team was bad. That's why. That's why you're running from. A, that's why you're running because you know you're running <laughs> as a kid. I don't take the bait. You know, you, you know. The only thing I know is that the current score is three double cell, one Quentin. All right, let's go do a raid battle. How would I do that? Go back to that guy. See if he has some netherite gear. And I, I'm good. I'll survive. We'll fly. No, you're not gonna survive. You couldn't even fight Pidgeys. I'll fly over. No, my Pokemon will fight the raid battle. Oh, it's it's player versus Pokemon. I'll fly around and get some hits in. I don't have time for armor. You are going to die. I won't. No, it, first of all, it takes a long time to fly there. It actually waste of time if you fly there and you die in the first 20 seconds. I won't. I'll even ask for you. I'll even send you the money if you don't have it. <laughs> I don't have the money. Here. I ended up deciding to donate to Quentin a generous quantity of funds. Sorry, guys, I, that was too generous, actually. Here, there you go. I have to lower that number. No, wait, no one else had another armor, they said. Quentin was in desperate need of upgrades. Thankfully, I remembered a warp I had discovered in my previous journeys. There was a trading hall where villagers were trading great stuff for a great deals. Quentin had to go there if he wanted to buy gear, so I decided to show him the way. Because honestly, who doesn't love a good deal? And these guys had almost everything. All right, so this is where you're gonna buy your enchantments for your armor. You're gonna want mending, four mending books right here. I miss in Minecraft used to be a simple game. <laughs> Make sure you have inventory space. You said four mending books? Yeah, it's only a hundred each. I gave you 3,000. Okay, uh, you may want to go home and clear your inventory because you're gonna buy like four of each book. Not all of these, but just. Oh, John, I don't need this junk. What? Where are you? Uh, right here. I'm behind you. I definitely don't need this junk. That's good. This is not junk. It's collectible. Resale value. It's junk. I'm gonna reach all time highs. It's actually junk. Yeah, it's junk. That's why you hold on to it for so long. Protection Thund for. Thunder Result One is S tier. Thunder Result One doesn't even look like you. It does. Legs are too long. No offense to the creators, but he's he's, he's, and, he's and got and double cell body size. He's got a no. Well, it's like a chibi double cell. See, we need this to. This is a lat. Oh wait, what is this? Is this a cactus farm? This is actually villager factory. Come here. See, th this is where I agree with you when I when you say like this used to be a simple fun like kids game, because people do stuff like this, where they just like mass produce all of the inventory. <laughs> I don't know what this is or what this does, but it's not to the benefit of the villagers. <laughs> All right, now we got to go find you some armor. Hello? Yeah, I just bought your stuff for you. Yo! Thank you. Now you got to find a vendor who sells the... Go back to that guy who said he sells the upgrades, because you need that now. But Quentin didn't feel like doing any of that, so we decided to try our luck and go back to Pestilence Plains. Okay. So we have a few options yeah. for the bosses that we can fight. We can do the Gengar one. We can do mm -hmm. the Dusknoir one. We can do the Superior one. And I think it's those three. What is Superior? What's Superior? Like the, like the grass type? The, like the Pokemon Snake Starter thing. The uh, Snivy. Which one do you want to do? So... Gengar is in a big cave. We, we can run around and there's lots of rooms. Superior is in a tree. Well, let's see the cave. All right, we're doing Gengar. I warped to Lamb's Hollow where I was going to meet up with Quentin to start the first leg of our journey. All right, you ready? Oh, yeah, okay. Like, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll fly to the sky. Yeah, wait, I'm 1 HP, though. Hey, I want to die again. Oh, do you have food? Oh, do you have another right? I don't have the upgrade template for you. So you literally just can't put on the armor. You can't put it on the armor unless you have the upgrade template. We don't even have diamond armor for you to upgrade. Let's go. OK, 
Okay, let me take a picture of the Gengar thing and... After charting the course, we were finally off on what would be the next great adventure. Though the question remained, did we have what it takes to get to our destination? Because in Pestilence Plains, anything can happen. And I mean anything. We had to stick together. Way behind, where'd you go? I'm right behind you. I don't see you anymore. You're not rendering in for me. I literally see, and now I'm ahead of you. You're ahead of me? Oh, there you are. That's why I don't see you. You're in front of me. My charge is fast. <laughs> I actually, I lost you. Oh, wait, no. Uh, I just, I see you. I'm okay, above you. Flying. I'm, I'm flying because I keep flying up. While flying, sometimes you had to be vigilant because randomly out of nowhere, these giant mountains would generate in front of you. Oh, is it this cave, maybe? Oh, no, we're not there yet. It took so long to get there, but we were finally here. It was time to make a safe landing. All right, start ascending. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. What? How did you do that? We were there. Do you actually want to know? You you, you press shift because you thought you were going to go down? Yes. No, 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 no. No, 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 <laughs> what, no. What, are you going to ask Pebbles for a TP? Yes! Oh my goodness! That's, I guess that's funny footage, right? That is good footage, yeah. The rise and fall of thunder. All right, negative 18, 62. It should be right here. There's nothing here. Am I reading this wrong? Like for, after that, I'd actually call it a, a session. That's demoralizing. Okay. <laughs> the shrine's not even here. I don't know where it is. But there's only one way to find out. We followed the coordinates to this exact spot, yet there was no Gengar shrine to be seen. I was expecting a massive boss arena. Instead, I found a cave, and inside the cave, surprises. What the? What is going on? What? A little lightning bug Pokemon just came up to me and struck me with lightning. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, this is dangerous. All that preparing. All that flying for this! A bug infested hole in the ground that lacked the one thing we wanted, the Gengar boss. What a big waste of time. Going back to the Nexus before I die. That's scary. Honestly, that was just extremely annoying. So in order to cope with my frustrations, I was gonna cook some food. Good food. With my wooden spatula, I was thinking of making an egg-based dish. Maybe a fried egg, or maybe an omelet. After all, I did have a surplus from killing all of those Pidgeys. So, I gathered what materials I had, and then after that, I began crafting the finest bowls to serve up my fine food. Only the best for my meal. After that, I started harvesting berries for the extra ingredients that I was lacking. You can't forget your fruits and your vegetables. And then I combined them all together in the cooking pods, and guess what it made? A delicious five-star quality bowl of scrambled eggs. And these things were great because they had a bunch of buffs, just what I needed. Aside from coping, the true reason I was stockpiling food was because the server was about to host a grand event. All the players were about to come together to team up and take down the raid bosses. Quentin and I decided to wait in Pestilence Plains while we talked about YouTube strategy. Great way to kill time. I went like the other day and I was like, I looked at your channel and I'm just like, I, I went to your most popular video. Then I saw in the top five, the Xbox 360 video there. Yeah. Bro, I told, like, I literally said the nostalgia people, like, that video is just gonna be evergreen because all the people were like, oh, I wonder what the Xbox version is like. Quentin, I told you when I uploaded that video months ago <laughs> that that was an investment video and the investment <laughs> paid off. <laughs> like, I, I knew it was gonna happen. It was just gonna take months and it took months. I don't even know where they are. Oh. The footage of what happened, um, my charger just got murdered. Let me ask Pebbles. Are we supposed to be somewhere? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, we're gonna be TP'd. He gave you food? Yeah. What did he give some? you? He gave me Dumpling Delights, a sack of 64. I, I want some, yeah. I was crafting some food, but like it's the tier one food. Wait, do you, how many shards of fractal reality do you have? Uh, a couple stacks. Do you think, you're gonna you know. What, you're gonna charge me? Like, I need a, you know, I kind of need the weapon, you know? I need to show off a weapon. And, like, you know, not an iron sword. He didn't give you a weapon? I didn't ask for a weapon. I feel like that was pushing it. I have a weapon I can give you. Oh, perfect. 
But the weapons aren't good when they're not leveled up, so. What is that? Oh. Okay, uh, go to the little battle arena where we did our first battle. I'll throw the weapon to you. No! No what? No. It's my ultra balls. Oh, I thought, you, I thought they were taking up a space in your inventory. <laughs> they are. There. No way you're throwing- that better not be a mending book you just threw out. That's expensive. Garbage. You can no, have it. No. I actually give you money for that. Uh, well, I don't- why would I need it right now? S Yo, he's got a shiny Charizard. Wait, they're actually ready for the raid. Oh, he's showing off. That's not a shiny Charizard, actually. Wait, what? That's a different type of Charizard. Shiny Charizard does not have red wings at the bottom. It's, uh, it's Mega. No? Oh, no, no that's not Mega. No, it's not. No Charizard has red wings. Here, we have the real deal. On brand. Like, I got a, I got one, too. Like, you're not that special. <laughs> I wanted to get a better view, so I flew up on Charizard. Oh, they're all, uh, flexing their Pokemon. Even Quinton wanted to show his collection. <laughs> Old Faithful? He's, he's a shiny. Here, Quinton, you never got to see the full team. Okay. <laughs> oh. So we need to have a real battle. Oh, just whoa. let them all out. Pokemon play date. Um, Pokemon okay. play dates. I feel like I'm gonna lag. I feel like I'm gonna lag the server, but. Let the Pokemon oh my god. Play. Yeah! Pokemon play date. Pokemon play date. This is a lot of mons, but this is the full team, I guess. I'm waiting for the one guy to, like, throw out his Kyogre. <laughs> no, while we're waiting, you need to know how your weapon works. You have You can explain it, you can explain it to me while I'm, while I'm still submitting some stuff properly. No, like, how does the weapon work? Oh. Shift right click, shift left click. Oh, yeah, that's a teleport. You know what? I want that, too. I'm gonna get that again. Buying another one. <laughs> Oh, he's that rich. <laughs> Gimme! I do have enough, right? Oh, not on me. No! I was still waiting, so I invited Quinton to fly around with me. I am a Google Docs, but let me see. Um, Are you that, like, down bad with assignments right now? This is the last week! Wow. It's gotta be like a side-by-side -side like, thing. What would happen if your Charizard, like, went into those two towers? <laughs> That's going to the video. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. Wait, what would happen? I can't wait to get canceled in like seven years from now. No, you're not um, gonna get canceled. People have made those jokes before in my comment section. One of my create videos, I made uh, I made a pair of towers. Half the comments were, "Mr. President, they've hit the second Barry Tower." So <gasps> he gave me food. Thank you! Guys, I'm not exaggerating. If you can get your hands on some dumpling delights, let me tell you right now, they go a long ways. Wait, what, oh, are you in Pestle and Splines right now? Yeah, just uh, use the warp there. Whoa, that's a shiny Giratina. Uh, you think I got the warp? You. Oh, oh! oh! We were suddenly transported to the Gengar Shrine, and this looked nothing like the coordinates that I entered last time. This place was completely different. Finally, Where are we? it was time. Oh my gosh. You know, I see some guys wearing diamond armor. Makes me feel better about yeah. myself. <laughs> uh, that, that's what I'm saying. I'm scared to bring out my Pokemon because last time I did, they, they get killed here. I wonder if the Pokemon are gonna play a big role in this. I feel like it's just gonna be us versus the boss. Do we go? Do we lead the charge? Uh, Forward! Together, our hunting party charged into this massive cavern. And at the center of the cavern, a giant Gengar statue. I couldn't imagine what awaited us. Are we flying around here? Is that how we're doing this? My charge got murdered! Oh, Wait, there it is. On? There's the Groudon. No, that's, that's the flex I was talking about. And he has diamond armor, but has a Groudon. You played Pokemon, not Minecraft. Hi, how you doing, Rodolfo? And, uh, oh, there you go. Nice to meet you. Toy Omar, he's a cool guy. Who's this? Five minutes. Android? All right, Android. Nice. The boss spawns in five minutes. <gasps> oh, he says we're gonna die a lot. There's no avoiding it, just no. Okay, that's the disclaimer. Okay, I f I'll feel better when I die. It's a good thing I have my Munchlax dumplings. Yeah, 
I'm gonna stop bringing around. That's wasting a lot of food. Are you, are you ready for this? Yeah, fly up here to the Gengar. I can't fly. My Pokemon's dead. The Gengar statue? Oh. <laughs> I'm up here. 20 seconds until the mutant Gengar spawns. I'm excited to see what a mutant Pokemon looks like. Okay, do you think there's like what? How many of us? One, two, three, four, five. Like over. 10 of us. Does he think this should be pretty easy? You know what? I hope so, but he did say that we were gonna die a lot. Nah, I think I think we got this. Little did Quinton know that him and I did not have this. Thinking that we could do this on our own? Looking back, that's a crazy idea. <laughs> it's just one Pokemon. <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh! Oh, he spawned! That Look was fast. That. Oh my gosh, he's got... He's got like a oh, they're all going him. him. Boom, boom. Oh, he's taking no damage. I can't, even I can't even see what I'm hitting. Did you die already? No. Whoa! What is that dog boy? Oh, oh, that's scary. I can't even see. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I can't get near that thing. Gengar was wreaking havoc on everything and everyone. He seemed unstoppable. And he's taking like no damage. Where did he go? He's like, Yo, he's messing up my vision like crazy. I can't move. Oh my god. The Gastly's are blowing themselves up. It's self-destruct. They're, they're, they're like bombers. Go, Incineroar! You got this, Incineroar! <laughs> What's Incineroar gonna do? It's Incineroar, he's out here. Incineroar? Give him a fever. Incineroar! <laughs> ah. You know what, though? I haven't been killed yet. And my health Jesus. hasn't even gone down that much. I can't get near the Gengar. Okay, return, Incineroar. You're actually useless. I can't find Gengar anymore. He's teleporting everywhere. No, like he's gone on my screen. Are you guys still hitting him? Does this thing take damage? Why are there two? There's two? There's two health bars. You see the Gengar damage chart on the right side? That's how you, yeah. you see your contribution there. You're at the bottom. <laughs> uh... Even the Iron Sword guys are doing more damage. Then, in a random twist of fate, that massive Gengar, it just disappeared. Oh, someone battled it. That's what happened. Oh, uh, can you actually do that? Someone battled it and it died. I can battle him. It'll be me. Sorry, Pebs. This is going to go in the video. Technical difficulties. I heard that the top, uh, what is it? Like DPS player? They get a, a mega stone. The group was just going to have to wait for the next one to spawn. Good thing we were patient. Some guy's saying that his Rift Reaper turned into Flint. Oh. <laughs> Everyone's beating up this little Gengar. It's not even a real Pokemon. It's just fight. It's just like some guy's actual pet. Oh, he's the guy that probably caught the mutant Gengar. He caught it? You can catch him? Mm -hmm. Remember how he said it got ruined because someone battled it? He probably is the one that just caught it. I thought he killed it. Oh. No, I'm going to catch it. I'm going to be that guy. Should I ruin it for everyone? Like, he literally said he's turning it off. We never named our Pokemon. Uh, this guy's named Glitchaboo. This one's annoying, too. This, uh, Raticate is Mrs. Bombastic. <laughs> oh, it started, Quentin. It was time for oh. round two, and this time, we were gonna get it right. Everyone was working together, doing their part to defeat this Gengar. This was teamwork of an unprecedented level. With our collective forces combined, Gengar was helpless. Oh, oh he's one shot, he's one shot! It's gonna be me. Yeah, I did that. I did that. <laughs> oh, what? What? I can't. They'll distribute the reward after we're done. All right, that was pretty good. And my armor didn't even take a dent. I died like three times. Let's go into the sunlight. Ah, yes, I can see again. This is much better. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Finally. I got what they deserve. What does that mean? Horrible, hideous Pokemon attacking me all the time. Oh, where are we now? Oh, oh my god. Dusk Northshine? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I've been looking forward to this one. One boss down, two to go. Our next adventure took us to the desert where we were gonna fight Dusk Noir. Uh -uh. Emboldened by our last victory, we rushed right in. Oh, it's in another portal? Little did we know that some of us were walking right into a death trap. The Pokemon were hostile, and they were very unhappy to see us. This one is gonna be, uh, 
crazy because he flies. Oh, Ooh. it's Pestilence Plains Nether. Yeah, this is dangerous, actually. What do you mean? The Pokemon breathe fire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have fire immunity. We were being burnt to a crisp on the ground. Oh, this is annoying. Get away from me. Oh my god! Do I not have Yeah, fire regrets protection? about not getting fire protection. Yeah, I don't have it. Oh, jeez. All right, cleanup crew. You guys were killing it with onyxes. Now wipe these dogs out. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Quinton, you can stun him. With he your spawn? With your staff. No, no, no. The These gross Pokemon. These, what, what is, Houndoer? Whoa, 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 wait! Hey! Use your staff and stun him. Um, this is dangerous. It's the shift right-click ability. No, wait, that's the wrong one. Oh, yeah, no, that one. Yeah, yeah, he's frozen. Help me! And how are we going to be the boss if we're struggling with his underlings? <laughs> Maybe he doesn't breathe fire. Oh. Yeah. Okay, the Pokemon are going to be killing me, not the boss. The Pokemon. Oh, what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. This raid boss meant business. There was explosions and there was fire all over the place. It was crazy. Trying to keep up with all that was going around was nearly impossible. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. But none of that mattered. Even with this overwhelming force and all of these spectacular explosions, Dusknoir was just another Pokemon ready to be defeated by our might. And he was defeated. Three, two, one. Dead. Just like I said. <laughs> uh, good teamwork, everyone. Get out of here. I hate this dimension. Oh, we got the last one coming up. He repaired our armor. Nice. How does this guy have red netherite armor? See those templates that they added where you have to upgrade the diamond armor to the netherite armor? Yeah. You can also uh, customize them with stencils. At last, we were at the end of our journey. It was time for the final raid boss. Only this one was in a tree. It was time to fight Superior. How we would do this, I had no idea. Baby steps though. Oh, the Elytra guys are flexing on us. Oh, I'm Pokemon only. Who needs Elytras? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's up in the sky. Oh. No, it's in the tree. <gasps> Why did I he fall? Oh my god. Face. Couldn't continue recording. I'm not up there. Hello? Gotta go back home real quick. Move! Alright, heal, heal. Where's the healer? There you are. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank god. Alright, here we go. Not you, the other one, the flying one. Come on, let's go, we gotta go, we're, we're late, we're late. Fly away from the, whatever it was that downed you. Finally, Charizard was doing the one thing he was meant to do, or so I thought. Oh my God. You know what, I think we're gonna wait down here. They ask, they ask if anybody's up and if you wanna be teleported. Oh, wait, 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 please teleport me. Oh, thank you. All right. This looks like uh, the Halig tree from Elden Ring, but you wouldn't know because you're not there yet. With the hunting party now together, it was time to spawn Superior. This boss was more annoying than the others because it constantly sprayed that slime. It pushed you and it poisoned you. Oh, there it is. There it is. The... Oh, this one seems like it's gonna be easy to kill. This thing is sliming all over. It's just a beat him up fast. I can't see anything. I, I, I can't see anything. I just keep hitting. Ow, 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 ow! It doesn't stop! What the? What the? I'm being slimed all over! Oh, I died. It took some time, but eventually the group was able to start pushing it down the tree. This was progress. Alright, well, we're waiting down here until, uh... Push it down. You were able to fly up there? Yeah, like, me and Charizard can fly. Like, we're My chilling. Charizard does not want to fly any higher than, like... Till the first your, platform. Your charges are slow. Like, I always <laughs> made it to the top. <laughs> Let me try. Right, oh, well, we're pushing Superior down to the bottom anyways. Those of us who had died were scaling the tree, trying to get back to the very top, but little did we know that Superior was already at the bottom fighting the battle. I don't see it anymore. It's not at the bottom. It's not at the top anymore. 
I thought this one was going to be the easiest to hit because it's not bouncing around like the others. No, I, I see why. It makes up. Oh, that's what that... It's supposed to be acid. Okay. Is that what Superior sounds like? It goes... Uh, I know Superior is worth a long time. Because we go like, Superior. It does not do that. It's more feminine. <laughs> it goes... Row! Sounds like Marge Simpson. What? Yeah. With the with like like the, the raspy voice. Oh no! I can't do it. Can you do it? No. <laughs> <laughs> with one final push, we were bringing Superior to the brink of its demise. Everyone was working together, and we were slowly whittling away its health until finally. Oh my gosh! Let's go. This one wasn't me. That 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 final hit. I like. I don't even think I fought half the time. GG. Where's my loot? It's in lots of fun. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. But um, what are my what are my critiques? Not enough bosses. We need more bosses. Keep them coming. Three is not enough. Quinton was ready for four more bosses. Five more bosses minimum. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go send you base rewards, everyone. I'll calculate the highest total damage and rewards for on Sunday's top players. Oh, let's get it. Oh, that's it. It was us. Well, guys, I think this is a pretty, pretty eventful playthrough. You know, I beat you in all the fights. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, all right. People don't even do outros anymore, so I don't even know why I'm saying that. Uh, people do outros. Oh. Well, I guess. What is that? Stand of the hundredth days. We finally beat the the corrupt Pokemon. Look at this guy walking on. This was uh this was day 100. Now Quentin and I are gonna have to go back and rewatch our clips to agree on a, a canonical timeline of what took place when. Cause that day count, I don't know if it's gonna match up. I I might not have a day count, so you can just do it over. Oh, let's let's end it at the house. Okay. Where it all began. Yes, we were nearing the end of our journey. But there were a couple of things I wanted to do before we wrap things up. For starters, there are rewards for doing this raid. You remember those tokens I talked about earlier? Well, for doing a raid, you got five of all of them. So yeah, if you want Mega Stones, raids are the way to go. I also got an award, but I couldn't pick it up because my inventory was full, so I ended up being ejected into the water. My reward? That being a funny little sign. Here, check this out. They made these for their Easter event. It's a little sign with Easter eggs on it. Isn't that just funny? That sign would adorn our house for the rest of time. My inventory was absolutely full with these tokens, so I had to put them in Quentin's chest because mine was full. Then I went back to spawn and I saw these four onyxes doing a little dance party together. I don't know what I was witnessing. I went to the PC to go say goodbye to all of those Pokemon who were never going to see the light of day again. Goodbye, friends. And to my team, well, I had to thank him for all the hard work that they endured. They did a great job. And speaking of great, it was time to say goodbye to our beautiful little house, our glorious battle arena, which saw plenty of action. Yes, the adventure was finally over. One last sunset setting on our beautiful story here on the Dynasty MC server. It was so much fun and I would love to do it again. Don't forget to join for your double sal and thunder's old plushies. I mean, come on, it's like looking in a mirror. Kind of creepy. <laughs> you also get login rewards, so be sure to check on those as well. Anyways, this was a blast. Thank you so much to Lil Pebs for those dumplings, the community, the people, all of it. They were wonderful. Okay. Uh, any, any parting words? I mean... You're, we should have one last battle. You want to have one last... I want to end this on a high note, and I think this was a great way to conclude the series, you know? But you know what? If you want a rematch, I'll see you in 200 days. <laughs> Fine. I mean, if this video gets... Well, what's the like goal? Or do you actually don't care about it? Sorry. No, it's... uh, I base my, my sequels on, on demand. There's 200 days in the comments, yeah. uh, like lots, lots of people commenting that. Then there, there's going to be a follow up. Yeah, how about this? Okay, okay, because I really want a rematch, right? Yeah. So uh, if enough people want 200 days, we can hop on and even maybe clean wipe, maybe same teams, and and I'll definitely get my rematch. So I can prove to you why this team is the best. 
You didn't get to see it shine. <sighs> I saw it shine. <laughs> like, like, look at the face. This is the face of a winner. No, this is the face of a winner. Yeah! Here, you know what? Let's say goodbye with all of our Pokemon out. Here you go, team. Victory Yo, team right here. Why is my team at the back? <laughs> I don't know. It just happened that way. There it is, the final showcase. We got uh, the kitten, the woolly mammoth. What? Uh, we have the the purple volleyball, uh, and the rest of my team. Oh yeah, and the rodent. They all have names. They don't have names. I don't even have names. Anyways, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Quinton only comes out in the Pokemon videos, like, but but you know what? That makes sense. Uh, support me on Patreon. See ya. Actually, actually, the Patreon method isn't patched yet. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Alright, that's it. We're done.